morning you guys what's up i am just picking up the vlog camera we're just gonna vlog the next few days it's my last weekend in tampa before i moved to new york city a week from yesterday so crazy so countdown is on and throughout the next few days i'm gonna be packing shipping things prepping things ordering things and i thought it'd be fun to do a little vlog where i just take you guys along all these different things um there's gonna be no rhyme or reason it's just gonna be well there is rhyme and reason well maybe no rhyme <laughs> it's not like a plan necessarily it's just like okay now i'm doing this okay now i'm packing my closet now i'm going to ship things now i, I don't know but i just thought it'd be fun and i love watching people's vlogs like this so it's just going to be a compilation of the next few days um and we'll see what we get out of this <laughs> And I've got this little workout outfit on, so maybe I'll go for a walk later or something. But just to get moving for the day, it's about 10 a.m. I was up so late last night till 2 a.m. for literally no reason. I took melatonin and everything, but I was just, I'm so excited for life. Like, I'm just thinking about the next few months, and I'm so excited. So I couldn't sleep. <laughs> also, my skin is not its finest hour. Just don't mind. Um, oh, when did Finley come in? Oh, hi, BB. Welcome to the vlog, the pack and prep vlog. We're getting things done. Today's a big order day because um, I uh, my lease starts Monday and I couldn't have packages delivered to my apartment building until Monday, so I didn't want to risk it. So like the Amazon stuff like could literally come so fast. So I'm not, I don't even think I'm doing Amazon orders today because I think it's still too soon because <laughs> Amazon is so fast, which we love. But I want to get some sheets, some towels, um, get my mattress, all that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna start putting those orders in today. First, I want to start my day off right. I already had some oatmeal this morning. I'm gonna go to the juice place and I'm gonna get a smoothie and a coffee because they have really good organic coffee maybe a ginger shot too so yeah we're gonna head out but i wanted to intro the vlog brb all right you guys choose your fighter <laughs> got a green smoothie and an iced oat milk latte i don't know which one i want to drink first right now they don't like complement each other really well but i just wanted both so i'm just going for both all right so we're gonna start off by going through my doing well daily for the day um New day on each page, you guys know the drill. Today's quote is, nobody cares if you can't dance well, just get up and dance. Oh my gosh, it's so on brand for what I was saying earlier. Um, so true, I already did get up and dance today, so I challenge you guys just to put on your favorite song, something that like gets you in a hype mood, do it. So I'm gonna fill this out. Some things I need to get done. I need to email my landlord, that's crazy to say and schedule a time to get my keys. When my mom and I land next week, we need to move into my apartment. I bought GovBall tickets, but since I went to Lala, I don't really feel the need to go to GovBall, so I need to call and see if they can change my tickets to the person I sold it to. And then I have a ton of stuff on my calendar that I put on today. So a ton of stuff that I wanted to order um, when I looked, like when I added everything to my car, it said like ship on this day. So I was like, okay, if I place that order on Friday, that'll be perfect. Oh, so I want to order my Brooklinen. I want to do Brooklinen sheets and towels. I've heard nothing but amazing reviews. I've felt people, it feels amazing. My mom and I are staying at a hotel for the first two nights because I am not sure of the situation and I won't even have a shower curtain. Like my mom was like, I really think that'd be better. A hotel in the same area, so it makes sense. I need to figure out which TV I want. I'm scared to even order some Amazon stuff today. I can look and see when it'll ship. I just don't want things coming on Sunday. They need to come on Monday when my lease starts. Also, I wanted to say thank you guys so much for giving me coffee machine recommendations. I did not realize I love Nespresso's, but I also love my Keurig because I like just normal cups of coffee. And so many of you commented saying to get the Nespresso Virtuo line because apparently that also makes a normal cup of coffee, which is news to me. So I'm looking at those machines now. They also have like Breville and Nespresso collaborations, which are really cool. I don't know if you guys care. But anyways, blue light glasses are coming on. We are gonna start doing some emails and just doing these things I was talking about. And I'll update you guys after. I really need to p figure out and pick which beverage I wanna go for right now. I feel like I need the coffee right now, right? Mm. Oh, but the smoothie's so good. Which one would be, which one would go bad faster? I'm gonna do the coffee, because that's what you do in the morning, and then I'll have the smoothie after and put it in the fridge. Not that you guys literally care at all. <laughs> I'm also on Amazon right now, and I'm not gonna have a table and chairs for like two to three weeks, um, nor a couch, nor like anything. Like everything I ordered is coming mid-September, 
So my dad suggested I just buy an inexpensive card table and, ta and folding chairs. Um, it felt a little wasteful, but at the same time, like I'm literally gonna have nothing um, except for a bed and I need a table and chairs. So I've seen other people do this and they're moving vlogs. So I'm gonna do this. And then honestly, when Ryan gets there, he'll probably need these by the time I get my furniture. So I'll let him use it. Um, and then I do have a storage unit in my apartment so I can put these there or give them away or whatever. Okay, little update. Um, I just scheduled some things. I emailed my landlord to meet in my apartment to get my keys. I think I'm going to work with Twice as Organized. Um, they're based in New York City and I've seen them organize so many people's homes and I'm so impressed. If you guys have watched my vlogs, you know I've just, organization has never been my fine point, especially in my closet. And I really need my closet to be organized and have a good system because I don't have a lot of room and I don't want my apartment to look cluttered. So I, have been messaging with them and they said to email them photos of my closet so that they can kind of plan accordingly and see what they're working with. And they also have like an Amazon shop where I can buy things that they suggest to use. Like I saw they have shelf dividers, which I think is so genius because like, let's say you have a, sh you have a shelf. I have shelves in my closet in New York. And if I wanna have like three different rows of uh, shirts, it'll be easier to have these little like shelf organizers. So. We'll see what they recommend I get, and they probably won't come for a couple weeks. I don't really know what their schedule's like, but I wanna email them photos so they can kind of get an idea. I just think that's something I'm definitely down to invest in because then if I start organized, hopefully I'll stay organized um, and I'll have like a good system. So I've never done this before, but I think now's the time for new beginnings. So I'm sending them pictures of my closet right now also. I did like a little Q&A on Instagram last night. Follow me on Instagram, at Danielle Carolyn. And someone said, which apartment did you get? So I did like a poll, which one do you think I chose? And it's like half and half, like 12,000 people voted one, 12,000 people voted the other. I thought most people knew which one I picked, but now I'm like, I'll show you guys the closet. But the closet has these kinds of shelves, so that'll be really nice. I'm excited, and I think I'm just gonna have them help with my closet um, because I'm coming with lots of clothes. I'm not gonna have like, clutters of dishes or anything yet because I don't have anything up there. So, I mean, maybe eventually I'll have them come back, but that's what's going on. I'm still here. I just finished my coffee. We're gonna get my smoothie now. Finley's napping. It's honestly a beautiful day outside. And apparently there's a tropical depression called Fred, actually, it's my dad's name, on its way. So I should probably go outside as well and enjoy this before it rains all weekend. And just like that, it's already about to rain. And just like that, the sky changed. This was, this is like 10 minutes later from that last clip. Love Florida. <laughs> it's kind of relaxing though. Finley is being so cute. Ugh, but the thought of leaving him next week, I can't. Uber eats to myself a burrito bowl. It looks delicious. All right, so I've been working on a list. I know my handwriting is so bad. It just will never change of what I'm gonna ship versus what I'm going to pack. My mom and I are each bringing like two to three suitcases <laughs> on the plane. It's gonna be very interesting. Good morning, you guys. I feel like I'm back in Athens drinking coffee, watching NYC Cityscapes on YouTube. <laughs> about to do my doing well daily. This was definitely something I used to do in college. Um, just like the whole bed setup with the cityscapes. I just have to play my coffee house playlist and we're good to go. All right, let's see what we're working with today. The world needs who you were made to be. It's Saturday morning. Um, got lots of packing to do. Delaney made this playlist in college of like all of our favorite coffee house vibe songs and I still listen to it all the time. Alrighty guys, a little OOTD for hanging around the house, not going anywhere. Whole Lululemon fit today, hair in claw clip, kinda, I don't really know. About to put some sneakers on actually, so I feel more productive. We're gonna head downstairs, I have a ton of stuff that I brought back from Athens that I wanna go through to see um, what I wanna ship up to New York and just start compiling things that I wanna ship, maybe some things I wanna pack, but mainly the stuff that needs to go in the mail. All right, sneakers on, let's head downstairs. Finley, what are you doing? Are you looking at the view? Oh. Thankfully, it's nice and sunny right now. Oh, I wanna be outside, oh, but I have things to do. 
Actually, at first, I just realized I need a ginger shot. Duh. Oh, hey. Hi, guys. Ginger shot a day. Cheers. So I'm downstairs right now. I'm looking. <laughs> keeping an eye on me. <laughs> All right, so here's everything I brought from Athens. Not too much. These boxes are empty. They're just boxes I've acquired over the last few weeks that my mom and I brought down here to use um, to ship things up, just different sizes. So I'll put these boxes over here. So I really need to just go through this now and see what I want to ship up. Oh, I love these pillows so much. Maybe I can switch out the pillows in my bedroom here. I don't know. I don't know what to do with these. I don't want to get rid of them. And then I have, and then I have this random box. This has like random electronics, my face steamer, diffuser, Polaroid, my Bible, <laughs> um, random stuff, camera. And then I had left a couple jackets up there. So that's that. I have a ton of hangers, ankle weights. This is so random. This bag, oh my gosh, I'm gonna get me. This bag is so random. I have like my pink wig. This box has, oh actually, I need to find my tassel. I wonder if it's in here. Like random disposables. And then here I have my Dyson vacuum, my clothing steamer. Okay, I have all these random little trinket things that I want to bring. Well, this I'm keeping. Um, I bought a diploma frame that also frames your tassel, so I thought that would be cool. Like, I have my face mister. I have my SLR cameras. I have a salt lamp. Like, random, like these Athens coasters. That would be so cute. My Polaroid. My cowboy um, hat, felt brush, I found some gift cards, shot glass. I feel like I'll need this pink wig at some point, you know? All right, update. I just took my mom's advice and just started, just, and started throwing things in a box. Um, so I'm bringing all of my drinking games, my card games. They're so much fun. They're just so great when I have people over. It's just a great conversation starter. So I'm bringing for the girls, most likely too. We're not really strangers, buzzed. I have a relationship expansion pack. I doubt Ryan will play that with me, but we'll see. And this is a newer one I got. It was one of our small biz of the week. It's the Actually Curious Happy Hour conversation cards. They're like little questions, so. And then my face steamer, the posters, the felt brush. Um, and I'm just gonna pop my wig on there. You never know, I feel like I'll need it. <laughs> I'm gonna have to take a break. I'm hungry for lunch, and this whole packing thing stresses me out. Like. I was starting to pack my coats and then I was like, oh, well, it doesn't get cold till, you know, October, November. Okay, that's that's soon. Like, you will now live in New York now. You need those things. Like, oh, do I need to bring that? Oh, yeah, well, you're living there now. So do you use it in your daily life? Yes, okay. <sighs> I have leftover food from yesterday that I'm about to dig into. All right, I've eaten. I have a fresh, clear mind going through, like, my jackets and blazers because I'm going to ship those. We've got my green blazer from Storettes. Got this black blazer from Misguided. This black blazer from Zara. And then this black shacket, um, which I believe is from 12th Tribe, yeah. Obviously I have my leather jackets. This is from Topshop, I've had this for a minute. It's another like lighter jacket. Really good for layering though. Okay, I totally forgot I had this blazer. It's from Zara, it was in the back of my closet. This would have been perfect for summer because it's lightweight. Oh, okay, well it's coming because we love it. Little shoulder pads too. So when did I get this? I must have gotten this in New York or something. I can wear this when I go for runs in the winter. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't even hold that one together. That is never happening. All right, here is the box. I have all of my jackets folded up. Like this is a huge box. Um, and I've got some beanies that I brought back from Athens and I just thought, well, might as well have all of my hats in one place. So this is like my hats and jackets and coats um, box. Now I have to go through all these trash bags of literally all of my sweat sets and sweaters. I think I'll put these in my suitcase when I go up. All right, update. These two piles are my sweaters that I brought back from Athens. I already like cleaned my closet in Athens, so everything that came back I wanted to bring to New York. Um, and obviously I'll collect more as I'm up there, but we're gonna start with this little starter pack of sweaters. I'm so overwhelmed by all of my sweat sets. Like really, there's not a lot, a lot of them, but since they're thicker, it obviously takes up more space and I'm not working with lots of space up there. 
if I take it all now or if I like leave some of it here and then when I come back in October. All right, next little adventure I've been on is collecting all of my shoes that I want to bring to New York. I think this is what we're working with, plus the shoes I'm wearing right now and plus my slides. These are the sneakers I'm gonna be bringing, heels and a couple pairs of boots. I know I'm gonna be purchasing some more boots up there, but this is what we've got. Three rows of shoes. I think this is, um, I think this makes sense, right? Just pulled out all of my bags and totes. <laughs> I know, a lot, okay? They're my favorite thing. I have these two little like fanny pack belt bag things. I got this at Lala and I seriously love it. Not at Lala, at H&M for Lala. It was just perfect. Two tote bags and I'm also gonna bring that one but that's my beach bag and hopefully I'll still be going to the beach this week. And then the rest of my bags. Um, these are the ones I want to bring up to New York. I just cracked open a LaCroix. It's raining now, I took Finley for a walk. I'm now going through my jewelry. I'm gonna organize all of this and see what I wanna bring up, what I don't wear anymore, um, cause I just have this compilation of all this jewelry over here. Um, and it's unorganized and it's just in a ton of bags from like the trips I've taken and whatever. So we're gonna get to the bottom of this. <laughs> Wow, look how clean this is now. Look at that. I've got all of my jewelry laid out here. I have to figure out the best method for travel. Honestly, it's probably just using a ton of these bags. I just don't want them to get tangled. Necklaces, earrings, rings, bracelets, more necklaces. Um, can you tell that I like gold over silver? <laughs> All right, so I tried to organize everything as best I could. These are all my bracelets. There's like bags and bags, rings, not many of them. And then all of my earrings. And then in these are, each one has like one necklace in them. And I'm gonna put all of these in this one. So this is the necklaces, the bracelets, the earrings, or the rings and earrings. It's not just like, oh, I don't know what's in what, because it's kind of hard to see sometimes. So I'll be like, okay, when I'm unpacking, these are my earrings. These are my rings. I'm very proud of myself right now. You guys, it's 9.45 on a Saturday night. <laughs> I'm tipsy off of one beer, one singular <laughs> can of beer. I don't know, I'm just giggly, I'm delirious. We've been watching the Bucks preseason game. I missed having football and it's literally preseason, but it was just something to do. We had a nice dinner with the fam. I am gonna do a face mask. Wait, no, this isn't the right one. This is a wax mask. I'm gonna do this mask. It's the Tatcha mask. I've used one of these before and loved it. It's the Luminous Dewy Skin Mask. I just, um, use some of these like face razors um, on my peach fuzz. And while I was doing it, a lot of dead skin came off, which is great, but my skin just feels really dry. Um, and it's literally only 9.45 and I started The Kissing Booth 3 on Netflix the other day. People hate it, but I love it. I will say I started Kissing Booth 3 and like it's, it's not nearly as good thus far. I'm not very far into it. Oh my gosh, this mask is like packed with product. <laughs> Kissing Booth 2 left us on a cliffhanger. Which school is she gonna pick? So I had to find out and I think Noah is so cute. I forget his name in real person. In real person. <laughs> um, oh my goodness. I'm gonna send Ryan a Snapchat with one of these on. See, this is just how you know it's a good quality mask. Like it actually sticks to your face. Like Tatcha, good skincare. I might have to buy more of these sheet masks. I, I kind of forget like how fun face masks are. I don't really like to do intense acne face masks anymore because my skin's at a good place and I just don't really want to mess with it. I don't know if anyone else gets like that. And they suggest just massaging it into your skin. Um, so it's always fun to like take your jade roller or whatever kind of roller you have. But there's so many different like face tools now. I feel like packs it all in and it feels good at the same time. It feels so good. I almost want to just like lay in bed, close my eyes and listen to spa music for 15 minutes. All right. Anyways, that's that. I just wanted 
to check in. Go Bucks, baby. Happy yeah. Monday, you guys. Yesterday, I had a little family fun day. We went down to Sarasota. That's in my visiting my favorite places in Tampa vlog. Hair is rough today, okay? Here's a little outfit of the day. Shirt, Princess Polly. Pants are from Spanx. I love them. They're the Booty Boost yoga pants. Bag is from Stodd. It's called the Stodd Moon Bag. Um, hair is just in a bun. No makeup. Today we're going to Ikea. And I most definitely didn't think I'd be going to Ikea today, but um, there are these lamp shades that I want. They're hanging lamp pendants, I guess you could call them. I want them on either side of my bed because I saw my friend's roommate had some and they just looked so good. They're like a open weave wicker look, but it goes with the vibe of my apartment. And they don't have them available for delivery in New York and they don't have them available for delivery in Tampa, but they have two of them in the Tampa store. So I'm praying that they actually do and they're not lying to me, but um, my interior designer, Sierra, was like, if you really want them, I'd say go get them. Today's the day, later today, I'm shipping out all of my boxes that I have packed up so I could just pop them in one of them and then I ship them up myself. So, and they're so inexpensive too. They're like 14 bucks, but I really, really want them and I haven't been able to find any others like it, that size I need. So we're gonna have a little day trip to Ikea. I guess if I see anything else that I really, really like, I could also get that and pop it in a box. So we're just gonna have a little day. Um, Ikea is a bit of a drive, but we're gonna do it. All right, you guys, we have made it to Ikea. There's like such a grand entrance when you get here too, like all of these flags and stuff, it's hilarious. Um, I'm about to head in. We're looking for these lampshades. Um, hopefully they have them. If they don't, this is gonna be a big waste of a trip. And I feel like I'll end up leaving with other things too, but updates to come. All right, here it is. Nothing's underneath. I assume this is where the boxes should be. A little freaked out because they said it had them in person. Greenery, so cute. I'm definitely gonna have some of this in my apartment. I already ordered some. Well, that was a bust. Not an IKEA pro at all. I don't understand how it works. It's a great place, and I had fun walking around. Unfortunately, I am leaving empty-handed. The guy said they had two in stock this morning, which means someone must have literally just bought two of them this morning. But yeah, so now I'm like, it's two o'clock and all I've done today is drive to Ikea. I should have left earlier. I was just, I was feeling really anxious this morning because it's moving week, which is so exciting, but I think I just like had all these emotions. So my mom was like, just have a slow morning. Don't put too much pressure on yourself and go when you're like feeling good. So I just needed a you know, have a moment there. All right, you guys stopped at my dad's house because he has been storing a lot of the stuff that um, was from my kitchen in Athens. For example, these puppies are coming with, actually no, not all of them. Um, well, I guess they could all in theory just come. This is my Our Place pan, I love it so much. And then I also have some other pans as well. I'm just getting everything together because I think we're going to try and ship everything out. I've got my Nutribullet. I definitely want this. So yeah, I'm just going through this. Like I know I have some of my favorite mugs in here and my wine glasses. My dad actually has an elevator at his apartment or apartment. He lives in a townhome. So I just called it up because I might as well put this stuff in here and meet it downstairs. So I just say, one, close it, and there it goes. All right, just made an espresso. About to head to the post office and ship some stuff out. Going to attempt to ship all this. Wish us luck. Well, that was the easiest thing in the whole entire world. I literally just did an Instagram story about it. Shout out to UPS and specifically the guys at UPS that have helped me. I literally brought in like eight boxes and I was so stressed. They didn't really know how to pack everything and they checked it all out and were like, really everything looks good. A couple things they had to wrap up a little bit extra. They just made it so easy and just nice and I just love them. Now it's done and all those packages, they're actually, the packages they said will get there Wednesday and I'm not getting there until Thursday. I mean, we have a mail room and stuff, but it's just funny. Those packages are gonna beat me to New York City. Crazy, so that's done. Yay. 
Hello everybody, it's the day before I'm moving, it's Wednesday, and I've just been packing all day. <laughs> Thankfully everything's already shipped up, but now we're doing the clothes. So in this suitcase, it's my smaller one, I have all of my active wear, bathing suits, pajamas, t-shirts, um, comfy stuff. These are all my clothes, somehow fit it, well not all my clothes, but like, tops and bottoms. Um, jackets were shipped up separately. And then dresses are in a pile right here. And my mom's so nice in letting me like put some stuff in her suitcase. She's just bringing a couple packing cubes and then gonna let me fill up the rest. <laughs> this is a whole process, you guys. But that's what's going on. Also trying to enjoy my last day home and be a Finley and I'm just definitely emotional today. So sorry I'm not super peppy, but... Yeah, it's gonna be, it's good. Okay, you guys, I'm having way too much fun. Mood is boosted. I just closed both of these suitcases. They're from the Jen Adkin Times Cow Pack collaboration. I will say, they don't have zippers. It's just like a snap, which is cool, but I didn't realize at first. So, and they also come with these clear coverings that you can put over top to like help with scuffing and stuff and just Honestly, it makes me be able to see them a little bit better. It's just like Velcro underneath. And it comes with all these fun stickers. A little airplane sticker. Might do some more. So yeah, these must be stickers that like she picked out. But I also have some Gals on the Go stickers I think I'm gonna put on as well. You guys, look how cute they came out. And they're all protected. Love that. Just stopped by the juicery, got one last bowl. Took a ginger shot with them, it was on the house, so sweet. Gonna miss coming here, but I'll be back for sure, but I got a little pataya bowl. Enjoying my bowl out back with Finley. Soaking it all up. Just finished pretty much all of my packing because I wanted to be able to enjoy the evening with my family. So I'm so happy. Obviously there's a couple things that I can't put into the morning, but we're pretty much done. So vroom vroom, my dad, Finley and I boat ride one last little sunset cruise i'm thankful it's not raining um put my band suit on chilling it's beautiful out all right everybody everything is just about done i showered we had a little family dinner and i'm about to have my last sleep in this bed for a while oh my god it looks so bad but yeah i'm gonna get some good sleep and Tomorrow starts the moving vlog. I literally cannot believe I'm saying this. It just doesn't feel real and I don't I don't know when it will feel real. But I love you guys so much. Thanks so much for watching and it'll be an exciting next vlog. Bye.